Hi there and welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike and I'm excited to share another Divi tutorial with you. My goal here is to make learning Divi as straightforward as possible. Today we're going to see how we can set up a site in Divi 5 in 10 to 20 minutes. Now I'm not talking about a page, I'm talking about a complete website. So if that's something that interests you, just hit that like button and let's jump right in. If you've not used Divi 5 before, you're about to be as excited as I am, I hope. If you have used it, uh, if I do anything wrong, let me know in the comments and we can see how we can build on this together. All right, so we want to go build a page, right? Let's go add a page. All pages, let's add page. And I want to add in a home page. All right, and then I want to hit use Divi Builder. So there it's loaded up. That's pretty quick, right? So this is now the Divi 5 interface, the building interface. Now, there's a couple of things that you can see here. But the one thing I want to draw it to you is that, did you notice that there was any difference in this process compared to when we used Divi 4? I hit the use Divi Builder and something was missing. Do you remember what? Well, it didn't give me the three options to build, start from scratch, to uh, use a pre-made layout or to build with Divi AI. That was missing. So does Divi now have they noticed that, that doesn't work and they've moved it away so that we can all just build ourselves and that's it? Well, thankfully no, because as somebody who makes use of those pre-made layouts a lot, I'm very happy to tell you they're still here. You just click on the plus button in the top left-hand corner here, add layout, and there's the familiar buttons that we have. So if we click pre-made layout, we see all the same ones that we are familiar with. And go, and if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that here's my favorite. Okay, so that is one way to do it. Now, when we click on it here, it gives you the options here that you can build. Now, if I click on landing and I say use this layout, it's going to load this entire page, images, font, and everything all onto that page that I'm asking it to do so. But Divi has now given you another option. And that option is something that they call quick sites. So I'm just going to exit out of here. So if you want to exit out of the, the Divi 5 builder, you just click on the exit button at the top here. I'm going to discard an exit. And I'm also going to move this page to trash because I don't really want it. We want to now go and see how we can set up this website, entire website, <laughs> quick. And they give it a very apt name. If we go here to Divi dashboard, it's called Divi Quick Sites. All right, so this one is like, I always believed when I read about Divi Quick Sites before that it was mainly focused for using a Divi AI. But I see now that I've started using Divi 5 that it also includes the pre-made Divi starter sites. Now, but pre-made is not using AI. So there's no, you, you do not need the AI subscription for this. So let's see how that works out. If I generate a new site, it gives me the two options. You can use a pre-made starter site or you can generate a, your site with AI. So this one, we want to look at, select a website template. So if I click on that, it then gives me a bunch of options. And I can go through this and I can look for one that sort of falls in line with the kind of website that I want to build. And if we see anything... Let's see the bottom. Oh, maybe we go to the podcast. Let's build this website for a podcast. Okay, so I can either preview it or I can just start with it straight away. So if you preview it, It'll open up like this, which you're familiar with, just like the layouts, right? But I'm happy with it. So let's just say start with podcast. So we hit there. And then it's going to ask you for a site name. I'm just going to say my podcast. And uh, podcast for TV. Okay. All right, if you have a logo, you can upload the logo here. But I'm going to draw your attention more to the pages at the bottom here. So these are pages now that would come with that settings that you saw. So if I click 
on it to ensure that it's got a check mark here, then that page is going to be created. So just like when they create the, the layout that gives you all the images, all the font and everything like that, this is doing the same thing, but is doing it for multiple pages. And you can add a custom page if you want. Um, let's just add one just so we can see what happens. I'm going to say test. All right, so I've, I think I've added it. Because to be honest, I'm doing that for the first time. And I'm going to say generate and publish my website. Now this does take a little bit of time. So I might have to start it. And then I'll come. Ooh, it's going a bit faster. Let's see how it goes. Maybe we can. Oh, got the about page. Episode page. I say that, but. I never really know for sure if that's really in real time, if that's what they're doing or not. It might just be for our amusement. Oh, it's so creating the test page. Okay, importing the theme builder. So it's getting quite near now. From the previous one I built, it went quite fast from here. Okay, saving theme builder. And it's done. That's it. So all your pages are over here. So it says your site is ready. And if you want to jump in, use the Divi Builder to edit the content. So let's go view the site. And it's going to look terrible. <laughs> so why is that? Well, I can't be 100% sure why it is, but my theory with it is that because we have not yet used the Divi Builder, the styles have not set into effect as yet. So it's just loading all the HTML and stuff for us. So this is basically what a website looks like with no CSS. So let's go and edit with Divi. As soon as you click on that, you see everything starts jumping into place. Okay, if we scroll through now, it looks completely different <laughs> to what we just looked at previously. And that looks more or less like the website that we chose. Okay, so if we want to edit all these things, it's the same kind of thing. We have our sections, we have our rows, and we have our modules, right? But there are a few things that maybe, if you're not familiar with this, that I would like to show you. I mean, I've already shown you that we can have a fully functional website in seven minutes that's that's quite exciting all right but anyways let me show you a few things around this interface so that you can see how divi works okay so i showed you the the plus button in the top here that's where we add our layouts the other thing that i want to show is that now it's quite customizable how you can set this up you're not stuck with just how divi wants you to do you can even change the colors from light to dark Right? That's not all. If you come to the bottom over here, you can change it even more. So they have a position, uh, right there, page, okay, 50% opacity, all these that you can change. Okay, we changed interface mode to dark, but now you can also change the color scheme to purple or to, if you're feeling very, wow, you can even make it red. I find the red is a bit bright for me. So I'm going to go back to purple and stick with that because it feels like that's a Divi color. All right, and then we can close that. So now you can see everything here is now purple in the dark uh, theme. Okay, so the other thing I want to show you is that, remember like when we build websites with Divi 4, you always have to say, okay, I want to do the row settings over here. So what I need to do is I need to go find, where's that, ah, there we go, the gear icon. Okay, row settings, and I click on row settings, and boom, there we have row settings, right? Now Divi has made this a little bit simpler. So if I go back to page and I say, okay, I want to go to the row settings. All I need to do is I need to see that the row settings is highlighted. So if I see the green like that, it's highlighted. I click one time and boom, there we have row settings. How brilliant is that? This is going to save so much time and so much frustration of times when you're building out the row and it happens that does the sizing doesn't work. So this falls under the other, I, I'm sure you've gone through this before, so I don't need to explain too much detail, but this falls under something else. So you can't get in there and you have to like sort of move the mouse slightly. Uh, it's uh, so frustrating. So you end up jumping into the wireframe 
because you cannot access the Visual Builder. So this makes it so much easier now on the Visual Builder in order to build it. Now I did mention wireframe. Does that mean it's gone? No, nope. that's still the here as well. So if you go over here, we have the wireframe view. It looks a little bit different. Um, looks a bit more smaller. And then also with the dark, I suppose that makes it look quite a, a lot different. But we have access to it right over here. Okay, take that off. Now the next thing I just want to show you, and I think we'll probably stop it at that, is hands up if you've ever tried to build a layout that has two buttons next to each other. If you've tried to do that before, I'm sure it's been a bit of a frustration. But I want to show you now how it works in DV5. Because they have this thing, I'm going to add in a new row. And we this is what we're familiar with, where it comes and asks us to put in modules. But I don't want to look at this. What I want to focus on, there's this new row. So if I click on new row, it then gives me the option to add a new row. And this is now a nested row. So it's a row within a row. And I'm just going to select the two icon, the, the two column uh, row over there. All right, now what I want to do is I want to add a button on this side. And then I want to add another button on this side. Okay. And then I want to jump into my row settings. And I want to say design sizing. I want to use custom, custom gut width. Let's bring it down to one. And I want to make this um, width of 400 pixels. So pixels, we can either type it or you can now just come and click on it on the side here. And there we have two buttons next to each other. <laughs> so simple, so easy. This is like, wow, oh, I think I will save hair now with this kind. But yeah, it's such a lifesaver going forward. And so I think I'll probably stop the video here for today's one, because the main thing that I wanted to show you is just how quickly you can get the site up and running. So how do we do that now? We hit save in the top right, and then we can just hit this button to preview. And there we have our website. We even have our, where is it? Two buttons. <laughs> All right, if I go hit about, there's everything in there. And now all any, oh, it's got my test path. So what does that look like? Oh, okay, so all it gives is basically just a heading, some text, and a button. Okay, but it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now what you would do is you would go through the website, go page by page, and as you're going through the pages, you just hit edit with Divi. And once that opens, you just change out the, all the content, how you would want it to be. So the other difference also, just before we end this video, is that they make it super easy now to actually navigate and to do responsiveness. So last time you had to click on the buttons at the bottom here and then go and change the icons or switch through the, the different views on the side here. Now you can actually just click at the top here. We have desktop, we have tablet, and we have phone. But further to that, is you can even change the width once you're in that view. So depending on the phone size that you want to look at, you can also change it over there. How cool is that? <laughs> I quite like it. All right, so we save that and we can exit. All right, and there we have our website up and running. This video, including me showing you a couple of, just a few of the features that Divi has, we've gone from not having a website to having a website and giving you a little bit of a tutorial on how to use the Divi interface in 13 minutes. Well, 14 minutes, I guess. So that is how you can build a Divi quick site in under 15 minutes. But I think we had seven minutes, right? You can do the whole process in seven minutes and have a website up and running. So I hope this is something that excites you as much as it excites me. And if it does, do hit that like button to let me know. I'm planning to do more uh, Divi tutorials on Divi 5 as well, basically, as I learn more about Divi. And so I will be creating more of these and uploading them in the days to come. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't lose out on any of these tutorials. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, do let me know in the comments.
And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.